there was a big smile on your face. I started like talking. Talk what's going through your mind? It's my, that's my boy right now, man. It's my boy. How come? Yeah, yeah. I met him in the summer. I have a good relationship with him. Been through a lot. You know, he got injured and stuff early on, so probably got the prop to seeing a lot of him. But yeah, he fought back. So, yeah. Just tell me about uh, your game last weekend. Uh, Pretty good corner. People were saying that corner that played for Illinois was was pretty good. Did uh, did you get gain something from going against some of that level? I mean, yeah, I think so. I did. As guys, you know, you're gonna see on Sundays, but with the conditions, we didn't really get to go at it as much. You know, game plan, other things to happen, and you know, the run game was happening. Tight ends were getting open, and we were scoring touchdowns. So no complaints on that one. It was a good matchup. How much does that run game change what you guys can do in the passing game? I mean, it really, it really opens up everything. So they not out there just, you know what I'm saying? Can't just either double people or you can't give more attention to one person or the other. When you can run the ball, everybody got to come to play. They are, all 11 of their players got to be on their A game, you know, being disciplined. And it opens up when you go on the play action, they schedule a run, you run right behind them. What about the other aspect of that? Those, those guys, I think they had something like 70 catches or 60 yards or something like that out of the backfield. What does that do for receivers and what does that do? Does that kind of help maybe simulate the run game sometimes when you're using the screens like that? Yeah, I mean, and it also shows the versatility we have in our running back room. So not them just being able to run the ball, but them being able to run the ball also helps our line, our lines blocking. They see us out there cracking heads, and it, it, it get the energy flowing in the building. So, and then they get to come out there in the backfield and show a little bit of receiver game. So, just compliments to them and their coaching. Do you think the is the way you defended has changed since last year? You know, you got in the mix last year, and then this year, you know, it's like the big games and like. Uh, Peyton said that they, thought they put their best corner on you last weekend. So just, just how defenses have approached you. Uh, I mean, I mean, I don't take anything away from it. I like it. I like the matchup. So I mean, looking forward to going head to head with anybody's best corners, honestly, and just trying to win the game, doing all, or doing all I can do within the system, and just provide and make a play. So that's about it. Did the submission game. It seemed like they shifted some coverage to you in the second half. I mean, what what maybe changed from the first half to the second half? Did you kind of notice them focusing on you? Uh, I mean, I wouldn't so much say that, but they definitely weren't trying to give me as many one-on-one matchups. But, I mean, they watch film. Uh, Minnesota kind of played the same coverage, cover two a lot, and so they can keep a safety over both sides of our receivers. So, I mean, I pretty much felt they were going to do that in the second half. I didn't think they were going to do it. As quick, I thought they was gonna do it quicker. My bad. I thought they was gonna do that quicker. I didn't think they was gonna give us the one-on-one matchups because I felt like that favored us. So, and when they did, we capitalized when we could have. And then second half, we just, you know, what I'm saying we tried to do what we could do to make some more plays and attack their attack their zones and get the win. And we kind of fell short. You see those one-on-ones in that, in that first half. I mean, as a receiver, what's that that like when you get those script line of scrimmage and see one-on-one coverage? It's, I don't know. It's just a, it's just a good feeling for real. But I also like how they put their confidence in their guys to go one on one. So it's a good one on one matchup, best against best. And there's no other way to have it. What would you like to get accomplished here in the last three games? What would you like to, to show individually and as a team? Also, uh, first as a team, wins. Most of all, just showing everybody we can fight through adversity and silence the outside noise and just come close as a team with players not being there and just get wins so we can get to the bowl game. And me personally, I just want to contribute the best and as much as I can to those wins. And just playing my role, doing what I got to do, no mental errors all over the field or none of that. Just a clean, clean game and some good wins. What did you see from maybe the leadership on the team over the last week with everything? I mean, you know, there's obviously, when you talk about a lot of adversity, I mean, particularly it's on the other side of the ball, but you guys all have to kind of stay on the same page. Who's maybe kind of being the voice for that? I see our quarterback for one, mostly our quarterback. He got to show that he's a part of our pretty much coaching staff. When the coaching staff, like you talk about player-led team, we look to the head of the snake, and I feel like we put that a lot on our quarterback and Xavier, the uh, captain of the defense, to you know what I'm saying, step up and keep guys in line and just keep our heads on straight and try to block out that noise and let the coaches deal with the stuff that they can deal with, and we just deal with playing and standing our playbook and doing the unrequired work to help us prepare for the next game and just keep going and getting better each day, building up to the game so we can get the win mostly. A lot of people, a lot of people talked about that, just kind of like a program. Right? I mean, does it feel like a, maybe 
maybe a turning point for you guys to kind of like in terms of buy-in in terms of seeing well, all this happen and then hey we, we listened we followed and we got a win on the road yeah you pretty much got to see like the leaders step up and get out of their shells because there's a lot on our coach's shoulders dealing with things that we can't control and we can't really do much about so they really got to step up and show and lead with their voice and their actions so yeah and i apologize if you've been asked this but have you noticed as the years progress uh different coverages coming your way different attention coming your way maybe with with how you've been able to perform this year yeah i feel i feel like i've noticed that a lot i feel like our coaches noticed that too we're gonna be doing we do a lot of things to help our players get in the best position to make plays so what type of adjustments does that require for you um, i don't really know yet but we're gonna we're gonna find that out anything else for Keon? uh you know, i don't know if you asked this you can play basketball game this year if they seen you over there present i mean we in football season right now. I'll say that. <laughs> All right, thanks. Thank you. Thanks, man.